Welcome back to Frontier for episode 13. With me, Mr. CDP. We're back at the train yard. I'm going to get rid of these logs no matter what happens. As you've already seen, um, contract is complete. We got paid by the Tradies Mining Corporation for the finder's fee for the barrel in the last episode. They sent us 30 grand, not 25. That was um, finder's fee of 5% and they put 5 grand on top for the fact that I cleared all of the stones out of the way to get to it. They made a nice profit. I got a little bit of that. Very nice indeed. So what I've done... I've bought one of the log containers, the Platinum Expansion log containers. So what should happen now is, when I put the logs in, that will then have a capacity, that can go onto the train, and hopefully we can get these to sell. I'm going to do one as a test. I have done what I've, I've shown in the previous couple of episodes, where I have put a little bit of... Um, oh, I've put a little bit of wheat, actually, from the farm up here. Um tiny little bit i've borrowed this that's a good point actually what i should do is if we go to here agro no no agro transition authority transfer money uh 100 for the lease and then obviously for the crop i've borrowed as well crop i've borrowed crop i'm using let's go with that i'll transfer that over that covers the cost of the fact I'm using a little bit of their wheat to put in the train. So when the train comes back around again, it should stop because it's got something in it. While that's doing its job, this is sitting waiting to put the, the container on. I'm going to load the logs in. I bought down my leap out from over at the mine and I've leased the log fork that I used on the crawler loader because that's got straps. We've got a bit more weight on this little beast. I have to say, I'm, I'm saying that, I, I, like I, say, I still think the crawler loader was... Um, Fantastic. Oh no, that's too much. That's not enough. Okay. There's no happy medium here. Oh. Oh, misses. It's interesting. That crawler loader seemed to have a load of weight. Oh, that's not great. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to raise that up. I'm going to reverse the lorry towards it. You know what? That's going to be a slightly easier way to do nothing. Um, I say that. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> we'll find out. You know me and my stupid plans. They don't always pan out, do they? Oh, it did work. Kind of. Just straighten that up a little bit. They're not turning. It's because we're on the little slope. Let's turn it on. There comes the train. There we go. Right. So, the train is stopping, which is great. So, I'm not renting that now. That's been given back. So, that's going to carry on sitting there, not charging me anything while I'm doing that. I'm going to load this up. I think what I'm probably going to do is I'll put the first container on to the, the rear car. But I'm going to get another one of these, bring it over, load it up. It doesn't need to be on the lorry, I only left it on the lorry because I thought it would be easier for moving it around if I'm going to do what I just did, lift the logs up and then back this towards it. I, you know, I can manoeuvre it either way, bring the loader to the trailer, the trailer to yeah, whichever way around you want to do it, it's entirely up to you. But I've got a lot of log loading too and I'm determined to get rid of these. So the problem is by not getting them with the grab and getting them like that, if I turn ever so slightly, Then turn in. There we go. Just better get that last one as well. And I shall continue until I've got two full. This is probably going to actually I'm saying it's going to take. Yeah, probably going to take three. I might even have to do four of these. It was a little bit different than. Um, I don't know actually. There's a fair pile there. That's stuck in the ground. That's not liking it very much, is it? Oh, yeah, I'm not in the middle, that'll be why. I'm just trying to work out how many it's going to take. I'm hoping three, maybe four, but we'll get them in.
this is the last time. <laughs> if it doesn't work this time, I'm setting fire to all the logs. I'm going to just torch everything. So, it's good that it's showing now. The bottom right is showing an amount. So, that's positive. What I'm going to do now, as I've done before, now we're in the train. Start it up. And let's go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's been a trial, isn't it? It's been a proper trial. And then that's logging done for a while. I don't want to do any more. I enjoy the logging, it's just this side of things. Fingers crossed. Come on. That's the wheat that was in it. You are kidding me. So there was an amount on there. It was showing the amount on there. I, that's it. I'm torching the shipping containers. This doesn't make any sense. Wood. Export by train. There's no other way of doing it now. Those are the containers that come with Platinum Expansion. They were on the back. They were strapped down. They were showing as an amount. The metal worked fine. That sold. I guess the only other option I've got now is um, if I fi find <laughs> if I find um, another sell point um, that will take wood containers. I'm trying to think whether the sell everything by Schultz modding does. It's had a few updates. I might end up having to. I might have to place a sell point so I can get rid of it all. At this point. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm so done with this. Oh, as luck would have it, the Transitional Authority have just opened a new sale point. I know. What are the odds? What are the odds of that happening? And you can see I've had enough. <laughs> I'm not coming back and forth and back and forth. Uh, two, I mean, I was thinking of even putting it up on the top and doing three in one go, but I think two's probably um, pushing the boundaries of safety. Um, if we go along the road, down here by the gas station, we've got the Authority Disposal. That's how we're taking it. If it works like a normal lumber cell point, I think there's a bit to the side. Um, I can't remember. I don't think I've ever sold um, wood to ever sell any things. Normally it's to carpentries and sawmills and whatnot. I'm still gobsmacked this didn't work because without a log car I don't understand how that's supposed to work then because this this is how it's supposed to work in these containers I don't know anyway let's drop it off It's not designed for long vehicles, is it? Um, okay. Oh! Oh! 110 grand? Mind you, though. Really? Oh, I know I had 88,000 litres on there, didn't I? I was thinking in total, we've got another 27,000 litres, haven't we? I suppose that includes, because it takes the containers as well, 
and they were 5,500 each so I didn't even check to see what it was selling for why is the wood selling for at the uh I was just point. I was just just get rid of it. Authority disposal one eight. So yeah, about a similar sort of price. Okay, that's all right. I'll go and get the last one, and we will finally, we will finally be rid of rid of the wood. I know. I'm sorry. This has gone on and on, hasn't it? Oh. Hang on. This has been niggling at me on my drive back. I just checked the price of that, didn't I? One thousand eight hundred for a thousand liters. One thousand was 1,821 for a 1,000 litres, and we had 88,000 litres. Two full containers. I got paid 110,000. It should have been 160,248. I mean, I suppose... I did have... Some, I suppose I had some logs in there that weren't 12 metres. I put a few in and it came up with that message, but not that many. I mean, that's a massive discrepancy. That's 50 grand difference. I'm going to be fighting that. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with that decision. This will be the same. What we've got, 27,138. This should be 49 grand. I bet it's not. Dodgy so and so's at the authority, isn't they? So I'm owed, I reckon. That's another 14 on top of the missing 50. Hmm. All that time taken to that login, all the mucking around I've done. All I want is a fair price on my goods. Right. I'm definitely done now. Back to the farm, we've got some money, that's all sorted, I'm going to buy some land. I bought the wheel loader back over here, um, lorry's parked up, and relax. <laughs> My corn's growing alright, horses are happy. And um, I said we're going to buy some more ground, so I think first things first though, this one needs a bit of a clean up. I still haven't done any maintenance on this. I'm dreading what the cost is going to be to do the Massey. We're into the reds now. Yeah, what did it say there? Damage 91%. <laughs> it's going to be thousands. I don't want to spend thousands. I've also had another thought. I know, dangerous, isn't it? But. Um, of a production we can put in one that's not on the map um but one that i don't know how i missed it um the, the mod came out the other day it was um what one was it it was a uh, like a debris crusher but it was a was it universal universal crusher was that what it was called anyway um so i was looking through for limestone in the mods trying to find what what would produce limestone and I found the stone factory. Now that must have released either at a time when I was away on holiday. Or I don't know. I, I don't know how I missed it. Um, but it does like stone tablets. It takes the stone and I don't know how it works. But, and it produces lime as a byproduct. I'm thinking of maybe doing that. I'm going to need a plot of land to put that on if I'm going to. Um, but anyway, as far as what I'm thinking... I said about greenhouses, I want to get some greenhouses in on, on underway as well. So I'm thinking, this little plot here, behind here, on the edge of the uh, river, if I buy the three fields that run along to that, clear the trees, I'm just thinking I don't want to put... I'll show you on the map. I'm thinking 20, 21 and 22 as the fields we buy. 22 comes with that little bit there. Because I'm thinking of putting greenhouses in, I said about giving up a little bit of the ground to the greenhouses but to be fair there's crops in them and I'd rather the crops just grew how are we looking soil composition 
Oh, they're fully fertilised. That's good. Um, so this one is... How much are they? 64, 66 and 74. So, I'm going to do it. Let's buy that. Buy that. We're farming. We're farming. We've got some farmland. Awesome. Um, now, along the edges there, we should be able to... There's a couple more trees that we could take out if we want to. So I'm thinking maybe I might get in a wood chipper. Maybe the devourer or something like that, just to speed the process up a little bit. Um, so this plot, canola. I'm just, there's not a lot of room here um, at, the, at the ends of them. So for putting greenhouses in might be a little bit trickier on this bit. That's what I thought. This plot here, as we come across past our sorghum field, to this plot here, onto our sunflower field, we've got this bit at the end. And I'm thinking we could get two or three greenhouses in on here, but I've got to remove the trees to do that. I might leave the palms up, I think, but I might take the others out. I don't know. I might take the palms out as well. So I'm going to do a bit of wood chipping, I think, and then put the wood chip into the hayloft storage. We can decide what we're going to do with that, so I can get the greenhouses in. But um, we've got we've got some fields. That plan, that dream. I'm also thinking potentially, if we can make more money, especially selling ore and stuff, if we gradually buy across here, we could extend these and join fields together to give us bigger fields. And then kind of sort of extend out from our main farm area here into our farming operation. We're diversifying somewhat. But also it does mean now I'm in a position where I'm going to start needing to buy farming equipment. Because I've got my tractor now. That's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? The telegraph poles. Can't, I, mean, I suppose I could work around them, that's not a problem. Um, but as I said, we don't have a harvester um, for when these are ready. I don't have any equipment for them once it's done. I don't have a cultivator, don't have a plough, don't have a fertiliser spreader, don't have anything at all. So we're going to have to move into that area once we get going. But first things first, clear the trees and then get the greenhouses in. Greenhouses are going to require... I think these ones need... The ones on here need seed and fertiliser. The ones that do cabbage and carrots, I think. So the question is, do I go wheel loader... Or tractor trailer. I think tractor trailer works, doesn't it, with the devourer? We're going to get a fair bit of wood chip off that, I think. I could... I've done my forestry bit for a while, because I don't really want to... You know, I could get a, a more mainstream wood chipper and do all that. But I think just for the ease of use, just for clearing the land. This is what I've said before. Um, if you're on a farm, a farm area, a map that's got a lot of trees, it might be a logging map you want to clear. There are plenty of ways of clearing stuff quickly. You can just clear stuff and get rid of it, or if you want to clear stuff quickly and get a byproduct from it, the wood chipping's the best way to go about it, I think. Oh, that's so cool. I'm really happy now. Well, I wasn't happy before. I'm thoroughly enjoying it on here. Why am I taking the tractor? I don't need to take the trailer with me. What am I doing? I suppose I should really have bought this field here because I could have smoothed that bump out. Let's devour. Try these ones. Caught the tree. So you guys are really not moving forwards. I 
Hunter, if you've never used this before, oh, it's a weapon. Does the job. I might leave, I'm just thinking, where the flatter area is, clear the trees. I might leave, mind you, they're dead standing, isn't it, there? Well, we're going to fill up really quickly, aren't we? And then we'll get out here with the weed whacker. Right, trees are done. And we've ended up with... How much do we end up with in here? 305,607 litres of wood chips. Very cool. While I was doing that, I uh, had a bit of a fiddle around with a couple of things. I thought I'd put a little footbridge from the back of the farm so we can go across without getting our feet wet. I like that, that fits in really well. Um, this fence section was missing already and I thought oh, I could put a wider bridge in to get vehicles, but there's no way of getting vehicles round here. Now I'm thinking it's because again, it's, I think it's because I'm on multiplayer. Um, but the fence sections I can't remove. But what I did was tried, I went in and had a look around in the, uh, the brochure for various different mulchers and mowers that said they cut bushes. And I tried three or four different ones. None of them removed the bushes on here. Um, so it could be the multiplayer thing. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna have to, I think I'm going to have to spend a bit of money and grass, grass seed over this. But when I was looking at the fencing, when I did this bit, I suddenly noticed something, which I hadn't noticed before. And it's this. Um... To what end I wondered and then thought hang on a minute I've got an idea bushes and bridges that's what we're looking at today as well as sorting out all that annoying lumber timber logging nonsense so I thought under decoration and others I have got well I've got these wooden ones they'll be in the description but I've also got these um, the wooden ones I haven't got put in there. But the uh, bridge set is, uh, I think it's Razak. I'm pretty sure it's Razak. So um, I'm going to go for the longer one. Just spin that around. The land is owned by me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The lunatic. Uh, I want it to sort of fit in quite nicely. If we can, that should do, shouldn't it? I reckon about there. Might be able to raise that a little bit if that's not quite on the ground, is it? But this side will right. I can smooth that out. We can open that up. So we can access our greenhouses from here. That's worked out. Again, way better than I thought it was going to. That's fantastic. I'm worried about raising that now. It just needs a tiny little bit and a little bit of smoothing. I'll do that off camera so I don't embarrass myself. And we are just above the water level, which is great. So the water is still flowing. Unless, of course, we have a massive flash flood and that raises. But it's a metal bridge. It'll be fine. So what I've got to do now is, um, yeah, unfortunately, I need to use the... I'm sure people will message and they'll put in the comments about various different mods that will work with this. And like I say, I have tried three or four that all did say in the description that they will remove bushes, but um, none of them did. So it's into my build mode, so, or landscaping, should I say. Onto plants. Can get a bit expensive. Normally the ones by the side of the water. Of course then it becomes a question of just how much um, 
how much how many greenhouses can I fit on here I was thinking of a couple I don't want to go bonkers but and we could do three and then we could do one for it oh no there's more crop there's more crop types on but I thought we could do cabbage carrots maybe tomatoes I don't know I just want to try something a bit different it does also mean that we get to use some of our pallets from Palico because the produ productions do need them how far over we can go pretty much level with uh, the edge of our field and then it should say yeah land is not owned so Maybe that one. There we go. So we've got a nice bit here for a couple of greenhouses, I reckon. I don't know whether or not I might need to level, maybe come out level a bit further this way with a steeper drop off to the side here. Just so I can get them on. I'm not even too sure the size of them, really, but... Do I risk it? I'm going to go uh, square. Nope, should have stopped my circle. Got to be careful when I get towards the bridge bit. That looks a little bit better. And then soften off the edge. Probably could have gone a bit further out actually. Okay, so next step then is greenhouses. So back in. We want production, we want greenhouses, and these are the frontier ones. We've got the multi-crops I've used before, but these ones have got the extra... Oh, watermelon, that was it. Um, I kept forgetting, I remember cabbage and carrot, but forget forget watermelon. And it does require fertilizer and seed. How big are we looking here? I'm wondering if we can put them at an angle. Maybe that way around they might work. Get the backs to the edge here. I always do it every time. And I know I say it every time. <laughs> Interactive zone markers, that always helps. Yeah, that end. Well, considering they're nine grand, I don't think I've leveled the ground properly, have I? Puts a little bit out that side. Maybe twist it a little bit. Hmm, can I get two on here? That's the question. Just about. Okay. That's going to need a bit of cleaning up around the edge here, but we can do that. Yeah, we'll tidy this up, smooth that out. Bit of grass around the edges. I'm, I'm happy with this. Little bridge straight across. We're expanded. We're, and we're into farming now as well. We're getting some farming. I know I keep saying that, but that was kind of the plan right from the outset. All the other things were leading up to expanding the farm and buying fields and doing crop work. And we are going to still do the other bits and bobs mixed in with other things. But that's cool. I'm going to spend a bit of time now just tidying this up a little bit, smoothing around the edges. I might put in a little bit, a couple of tracks, whatever. Um, but what we do need to check now is we need to bring some pallets over. Yeah, water seeds, solid fertilizer. Oh, that's annoying because I know over at um, the agro industrial cooperative where we made all the um, liquid fertilizer, there's a ton of it over there. Although, hang on a minute, hang on just a mo, hang on just a rolly mo. Did we not have under containers frontier dilution tank? Oh no, it was liquid fertilizer and herbicide because it dilutes it, doesn't it? It wasn't fertilizer. 
Oh, I suddenly thought, oh yeah, we can buy some, that's not a problem. Okay, uh, so... Can I get water from the river? No, it's from my little tanker over. Wash out the diesel that was in it. Otherwise I'll get comments. <laughs> I've gone and grabbed the tanker. Uh, I'm actually going to try and water here. Yep, we're all good, which means I should be able to fill up at the other end of my Ford as well. So I'll fill up here. It has been pressure washed. Diesel is out. Chemicals and various different things that need to be done to make that happen. Honest Gov, you can trust me. So, I'm getting the water in. Now, another thing I've got that I can take advantage of, when I said about the liquid fertiliser at the Agro Industrial, which is now good to me, but what they did do was when we were doing the seeding out in the wastelands, they bought extra seed or more seed than they needed. So Agro-Industrial Agro have got some seed over at the store, which I can have. Now they said I can have it, but I'm going to buy it just in, you know, to be fair and complete and all the rest of it. Oh, look, I'm done. I'm, I'm chuffed with this. I put, filled the little gap. I tried to, um, I've leveled a little bit around the sides, done a little bit here and there, um, but I did, I got this just a little bit wrong from the angle I was at it was hard to see because of the grass there was a little bit of a gap so we put some stones down I'm thinking actually what I might be able to do is if I get a scoop of um, rock I might be able to pour a scoop of rock down under there just to smooth that over a little bit potentially um, so I have a little bit of work done up around here that's not too steep out of there which is quite nice now this may take all of this I can't remember I say I can't remember, I haven't used these ones before, have I? So, doing. No, I wasn't the right one. Yeah, it's going to take an absolute load, isn't it? So, I have to do a few runs backwards and forwards. So, what I've also done, I've taken the um, lorry and the trailer out to Palico. And what we'll do is we'll do a round trip. So, we'll load some pallets on and I'll bring the small loader over with that because I haven't got the forks for my larger loader, I left those up at the mine. So we'll go from there, we'll go to the store, we'll pick up the seed and we need to buy some solid fertilizer because I haven't got any anywhere. So I'll buy some solid fertilizer. We'll bring that back and then we can fill everything up and we can get these two running. Um, I'm trying to decide, I did watermelon on Griffin. So I think I'm gonna do the carrots and the cabbage as a priority. So yeah, we'll bring all those bits back, but what I'll do now this is the only problem here. Oh, I've got a bit of room here, a bit of runoff, haven't I? I'll we'll just clatter through the bushes, we'll be fine. I honestly have no idea why that gate was there. It was one of those weird things. As I was sort of scanning along, thinking, oh, I wonder if I can remove a section of fence, can I get a vehicle around the side there to it? And then looked inside and thought, hang on a minute, that's a gate. Well, I suppose when you look at it, the fence section curves in that way anyway. I've put this little bit of gravel in here, but um, I, I don't know whether this was what was all was intended for there or something. I don't know. It's curious, isn't it? Yep, we're all good. Right, I'll fill the water up. I'll see in a little while once the water's done. We'll do a bit of a trip round, pick up the other bits. Actually, while that's filling up, what I can do is fertilizer pallet. Ah, oh, I might be alright with what we got. Well, I better lift those up though. Oh, I've got the rear weight, haven't I? Um, go with two of those, one for each. I can always top up more later on.
Water's done. I just didn't realise I might not have had my mic in the right position for the last bit. Apologies if the sound wasn't great. Uh, let's strap those on. Start the engine. I'm going to take all of these over. Oh, that's a bit of weight on there. Put it on the back. There we go. Might need to adjust the um, the gooseneck attacher because we're off the ground a little bit. We're back. Whoa! <laughs> sure, it'll be fine. Right, off to the store. Seed and fertilizer. Come on. Ain't you got homes to go to? Can I fit? Oh, I can't fit that gap there, can I? Oh, what's happening here? No idea. Is one broken down? Okay, so there's the rest of our clobber. Question is, what shall I pay? I say this is all. Uh, I'm sure it's yeah. Bottom right, agro industrial cooperative. All seed, and then the fertilizer I've just bought. It's very nice them to say that I can have the, uh, the seed, but I think it's only right I should pay. Now, because these are 5,000, I mean, that being said, these things have lifted all sorts of weight, so it shouldn't be too horrendous. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it sideways. I'm just giving myself a bit more room. I need to do that and that. Will that work? We'll find out. That front one should not be on those forks. I mean, that's barely on. Got a funny feeling that's going to fall off in a minute. But I'll chance my arm. Oh, we've got some movement. Again, the TLX weight comes into its own. Not gonna let go. Come on. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that before I come off the pallets. Once I've released the weight onto the deck, I should then release the weight on the back. Uh, I've got there. Kind of. Right. 
seed. Let's get it all over. Get these greenhouses going. Uh, I could probably do doing the same. Do that. Over at the farm in a minute. Back to the farm. Let's let the farm expansion continue. Um, what's the best way of doing this? If I come back around. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got enough room to drive the lorry over there, but that's fine. I've got plenty of room in the yard. I'll stick this down here. Maybe the other side bit. Yep, right, let's unfold that. Straps off. Engine off. Now, a very weird thing happened. The second lot's lot two bags of seed that I put on, when I hooked them up, well, missed completely, I was not paying attention, um, the, stra the, the actual bags, although they were the lighter ones, they had less in them, seemed like they suddenly became elastic. And they just stretched right down to the ground. It was very odd, until I put the pallet straps on, the forks, and when I did that, they were absolutely fine. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, the question is, do I do them all at the same time? Is that me being too smart for me? I'm good. Right, bring that in a little bit. You can certainly try it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Pallet strap it. That's better. Have, to have a new nickname soon, Guy Forks. No, just me. Probably just me. No, I don't want to put all into one. So, what we need to do is. I've got to work out which ones are which here. Forks off. Because that one is nine, that one's one, and these are fours. So I want one of those and one of those, one of those and one of those, because I would do, wouldn't I? So I guess I'll just grab the first two. Like... Come on. Like that. Straps. Fantastic, right. Is that it? Is that full? Oh yeah. I thought it'd take way more than that. Okay. We'll have some spare. Oh, 
and then uh, yeah, we'll go and get the other bits in. It's good that I've got to do any work on the fields. See what I mean? Look. Ooh. That's only got a thousand litres in it. Why is it doing that? But if I then put the straps on, no worries. Stretch Armstrong. Now we're looking. I did need the other one as well anyway. Right, I'll go and get the other stuff in a second. Again, with the first size, I've got to be careful. I don't want to stick it all into one, so I'll split those down. We're good, right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this way. Not the best idea I've ever had, but actually, don't go too far with that. Strap them. Don't know if that make any difference. Uh, rear weight. On. Once I'm out a little bit further, and come all the way in, there we go. Whoa. This was a good purchase for 20 grand. Oh, I'm struggling. But again, release that a little bit just till we get those out. repeats lastly then pallets it is let's get these on Again, I'll split these half and half. As it turned out, the fertilizer took exactly the same as it did for the seed, so I've got some spare on that as well. Straps on, lift it up, a bit more weight on the back. Got a little bit slow off the back this time. I'm not sure what kind of rate it's going to devour these pallets, but. I've got plenty, I haven't got to worry if I now own Palico. After all that debacle with the logging, I mean, I certainly need to kind of lie down, I could have cried. I thought, honestly, when I did that last lot, I thought, okay, this will work with the wood containers, they'll go in, it didn't work. And then think, okay, now I have to put a sailboat in. And now I'll put a bridge in. I think we're going to call this the River Cry. So it's Bridge on the River Cry, I think. That's what I'm going to go to. 
I keep saying it every episode, don't I? I'm going to go have a little cry. Palette is not accepted here. Uh, I didn't split them, which was what I was intended to do. Uh, let's drop that down. Let's take the straps off. Release the weight on the back a little bit. Coming up, so I've only got one lot. Let's do it too. There we go. Do that. Strap those. Oh, yeah. Same pallet's not accepted, but it's taken them so. We'll just go with that. Wow, it's taken a lot more than I thought. That takes a lot of pallets. That's interesting, because in the recipe it's more water, then seed, then fertiliser, and then one of pallets. How. I mean, I can bring over as many pallets as it needs. I've got plenty, but I think 4,000 in each is going to be plenty to be getting on with. And let's fill up the last one. And then, I'm done for today's episode. What we're going to do as well, we're just going to skip ahead and see if we can get some more contracts as we're going to February. Uh, and then also, we'll be able to see as we're going to February what's going on with the, um, with the mine, how much has been produced out of the mine and see the relationship between how much ore and stone has been produced to um, the ratio between that and how much has actually been utilised of the products that we put in. So we can then get a better gauge of how often we're going to, need to take stuff down there and obviously how much we're going to make from the ore. Can we repay buying the mine? Can we repay um, buying the products required? And will it then become self-sustaining self self that we can afford to then go and buy more of the machinery parts, more of the vehicle parts, more engine oil, um, and still make money? That's going to be sort of how we look forward. Oh, so it would be a good idea. Have we gone to all this trouble, all this work, putting a bridge on the River Cry, and uh, then not actually doing anything with them? Wrong side. Uh, there we go. So we're going to go with carrot and cabbage on... Oh, actually, you know what? I think what I might do, I'm going to go carrot in one, cabbage in the other. Let's do that. We seem to... There's something. Nothing. Okay, this will be interesting when they grow. That one's running carrot. That one's running cabbage. It's in the lap of the farming gods now. Let's see what happens. So, with that, we have come to the end of another episode. So, for people that like their farming, the farm is expanding. We are we are moving into the farming as well as keeping the other things going. Then it becomes plate spinning and juggling, as it always is, trying to keep up with the various different productions, things we've got running, making sure we don't miss anything as best as we possibly can, uh, keeping up with, yeah, maintaining everything and hopefully buying more machinery and equipment as we need to as we move forward. I'm not gonna buy cultivators and plows and things yet. We haven't even harvested. Next thing will be when we get into the harvest season with the crops we have got, with the cornfield behind us, and the three we've just got, sorghum, sunflower and canola, we're going to need a harvester. So I'm going to keep my eye out now for, I want to try something different, one I haven't used before, but again it's trying to find one that's reasonable, with a reasonable tank size. Um, like I said, I, I tend to fall back on the same ones because I know they work, I know they're reasonable, I know they work well, um, but I want to try something a little bit different, hopefully. Uh, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you're still enjoying it, and if you are, if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, we are so close to 100,000, 99,030 or something. We are, no, 99,900, oh I can't remember, we, we are incredibly close. Um, yeah, 99,930 should I say, we are so close. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free, and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. As always, thanks for watching.